Hi, Randall Rizzold from Force Bar here today, and I'd like to talk about the Force Bar water strainer and basically the parts that can make, go to make up a water strainer and a little bit about how to maintain one. Basically, a water strainer from Force Bar has two ports one in the bottom, inch and a half female thread, one on the side with inch and a half female thread. Both threads are straight parallel and not tapered. We do have a bracket that can be tightened and you can orient the discharge side of the water strainer in any direction needed. And basically, the water, the water strainer being inch and a half thread, we offer a line of reducer adapters that consist of the reducer, inch and a half male thread to various female threads and we also offer a line of hose barbs that will thread into the adapters in both straight and right angle configurations and the adapters are able to thread in to the port and then the hose barb can then be threaded in. Be sure to use a good bedding compound or white pipe thread Teflon tape on the threads in order to assure a good watertight seal. Okay, the force bar water strainer consists of several pieces and I just wanted to go over them quickly with you because a lot of, a lot of times you might need replacement parts. First is the knob on the top which holds the lid down. A lot of times these get dropped and they end up between the hull and the liner never to be seen again. You can get that as a replacement part. The clear lid also can be purchased separately as a replacement part and it has a rubber gasket that goes around it and inserts down into the cap and the knob then goes down on top tighten it securely in order to get a good seal around the upper uh, lid and o-ring area so it's not leaking when you're underway next thing is the stainless steel basket and it has an o-ring underneath it that basically forms a seal around the intake portion of the water strainer this o-ring is inserted down in there like that and make sure you get it this direction not this direction this is the top and it rests in the bottom of the strainer. The basket is slightly concave on the bottom and the basket rests on the top of the o-ring. You're then able to reinsert, reinstall the lid and securely install the cap and you're ready to go. All these parts that I've shown you can be purchased separately as replacement parts.